plant and machinery with high technology have been uh, taken uh, into the organization means definitely the employees who are working in that organization they will not know how to operate that okay definitely they will rest to work there so this leader he should prepare those employees those group of people towards okay towards innovativeness and creativeness before only he should uh, change the views and opinions of the members towards organization towards technology towards change okay so different aspects may lead to changes in organization not only in technology but also in many issues we know pestle analysis due to political social economic legal okay uh, likewise many internal policies of the organization within the internal policies within the change in new management may come okay so all these may lead to changes but the employees should accept any change in the organization and implement them in the organization they should allow those implementation they should accept the changes in the organization this happens only when the leader motivate them okay through a proper mechanism is nothing but giving a proper communication good communication positive attitude towards the change okay he should explain clearly what were the pros and cons he should tell them that the change will develop them personally and at the same time the organization will also develop okay so like this he should uh, change them modify the uh, thinking of the uh, employees thinking of the subordinates thinking of the members in the organization okay so impl for implementing any change definitely leadership is needed okay and coming to the last but not least representing the members so the leader is a representative of members led by him he also takes care of the personal interest of the members he attempts to protect and pro promote their interest and integrates it with that of common interest okay so representing the members means is, it is nothing but taking care of the members protecting the members promoting their interest okay so he for this uh, representation the leadership is needed for example if they are uh, in in any problem means for example the group of people are uh, facing any problem regarding the work environment means so their problems should be represented by this leader to the top level management he should communicate their problems to top level management he should represent on behalf of all this group of members he should represent to the top management that this is going on these problems were facing by the uh, members in the group okay and he should protect them he should safeguard them he should promote their interest okay and he should integrate the personal interest with organizational interest and a common he should integrate these interest as a common interest okay common interest is nothing but individuals interest who are working in the organization and at the same time organizations interest also okay and coming to the next one functions of a leader so till now we have seen the features and the importance of leadership why we why we need a leader okay now coming to what are the functions that are performed by a leader what do a leader do in an organization okay so what were the functions so he performs many functions okay manage uh, leadership is an indispensable activity okay a, every manager has to perform for directing the people working under him indispensable indispensable means he cannot uh, escape from his activity okay so therefore definitely he has to exercise his leadership in the organization okay and at the same time a leader may or may not be a manager but a manager must be a leader why because he is concerned with different functions of management he should be a leader he should think like a leader he is not only a manager he must be a leader who is having a positive attitude okay then only he can motivate the employees then if at all the employees were motivated means efforts can be seen and those efforts can be changed into the performance and that performance can be changed into the organizational goals achievement okay now we go for functions what were the functions first one is motivating members or followers okay so 
the basic function is that only motivating he should motivate the members of the group for achieving the organizational goals okay and at the same time common goals common goals in the sense as i said before individuals have their own personal goals and the organization has the achievement goals okay so both should be integrated both should be uh, communicated to the employees and he should motivate the followers okay he should inspire the followers in order to work for the organization okay so motivating employees is very very basic function of leadership coming to moral boosting okay moral boosting is nothing but increasing the morality in the employees how could a leader can increase morality in employees means by reshaping their behavior by modifying their behavior by regulating their by behavior regulating in the sense exercising some kind of authority okay and controlling the behavior of members if at all they are out of control okay like that so moral boosting increase in morality of employees can be seen by reshaping them by exercising some regulations by modifying okay through all these mechanisms okay morality can be increased in subordinates by the leader okay so the morality leads to the employee loyalty employee will be loyal towards organization this loyalty increases the productivity organizational commitment okay so all these can be seen through moral boosting which is nothing but showing employee loyalty towards organization he will work hard for the organization's development and coming to support function what does support function means by establishing friendly interpersonal relation with the members he helps them guides them and activates them to perform better okay each and every person who is working in the organization he needs some support okay in work environment therefore as the leader has a good uh, human relations with the persons who are working in the organization definitely he is establishing a friendly relation with the subordinates so he will guide them how to work how to perform better okay how to keep uh, full efforts in the organization okay likewise by his supportive function okay he guides them and activates them to work better to perform better okay and another function is satisfying needs of members as i said before this is also seen in features we have okay satisfaction is important for the members so why because groups form the basis of the group forming is to satisfy their needs in organization how can they satisfy their needs through leader okay and this leader if at all he is able to satisfy the needs of members okay definitely the people will work for the organization and achieve the organizational goals therefore a leader should maintain okay some adequate provisions for satisfying personal needs and aspirations of members okay so he should take concern uh, more concern towards the employees needs okay in order to satisfy their needs he should take an initiation okay and accomplishing a common goal accomplishing common goal means as i said before uh, we have individual goals and organizational goals so for both goals can be achieved okay how for he should communicate with the employees okay but the purpose of the leader has to exercise okay uh, his influence over the members and motivates them to work in the direction of achieving common goals so accomplishment of common goals can be done okay can be done by motivating them only so how could he motivate means if organizational goals achieved means your personal growth will also be there he should communicate properly he should uh, give a confidence to the individuals or the members that if if at all organizational goals achieved means okay your personal goals also will be achieved so he should explain in such a manner that integration of integration of individual goals with organizational goals which is known as common goals 
should be explained clearly okay without any ambiguity to the subordinates next representing members what does representing members means leader is basically a representative of members he is supposed to protect and promote the interest of members as against outside challenges and threats he is the symbol of the group and father figure for his followers okay representing member we know that representing member is uh, nothing but he acts on behalf of the members group of members if at all they have any challenges or threats okay from within the organization or from the external environment anyways okay but the leader should give a confidence to subordinates or the group of people that he will resolve the problems okay he should, he will safeguard them he will protect them he will promote the interest of the members against the challenges against the threats okay so he should uh, simply saying that he he should act as a symbol of the group that is nothing but a father figure role should be played by him as a uh, family head will be uh, for us father okay like that for the group he should be uh, he should act like or else he should uh, play a role of father okay who takes all concerns of the members of the group okay and coming to creating confidence so this is another important function a leader should create confidence to the subordinates or the group of people if at all he fails to create confidence to people means definitely they will not accept him as a leader okay then ultimately leadership will not be seen but if at all he creates confidence to the people means definitely they feel some uh, belongingness that the leader belongs to them and they will work committedly to organization they will show some loyalty towards organization okay so the function means the main function means creating confidence is important function on the leader so he should provide them by uh, creating confidence uh, by providing a uh, ready help okay whenever they want whenever they are in need okay the leader should be there and he should give them help or advice if they want advice he should give them advice if at all they are in need of guidance means he has to guide them support them lead them okay and he also looks into the problems and difficulties and solves them he should give that confidence and a resolving conflict so he should play another function that is nothing but resolving conflicts wherever there is a group definitely there will be some conflicts why because within the members they may not have a good um, uh, positive or favorable conditions may not prevail whenever there is a group because uh, each person has different personality okay so each person has their different attitudes towards others so they may raise some conflicts okay at, at that time the leadership or the leader should play an important role a significant role to solve those conflicts he should resolve all these conflicts and he should uh, and he should give a communication good communication uh, he should clearly explain the members that our aim is to reach or to accomplish the goals of our organization okay our goals can be achieved whenever we are whenever we keep our efforts fully to achieve the organizational goals only okay he should communicate in such a way that he sh there should not be any conflicts okay and he should integrate their individual goals with organizational goals okay in that way he should resolve the conflicts and last one is implementing changes leadership process mechanism for bringing about and implementing changes in the group therefore here we will see uh, as i said before if at all there were any changes in the organization employees resistance should not be seen there if at all there is a leadership okay why because leader will motivate them leader will uh, modify their behavior their uh, attitudes will be changed okay regarding the change by the influence of the leader okay he proactively takes some uh, actions towards changes of the uh, organization changes in the organization and he will change the 
behavior of the subordinates by clearly explaining about the pros of the changes in organization okay how their individual goals can be achieved by accepting the changes in organization okay so he should act like a uh, facilitating agent in the organization facilitating agent motivating agent mentor okay so he should be regarded he should be regarded as a facilitating agent okay so all the people or all the subordinates will accept the changes through proper effective leadership coming to uh, traits or qualities of a leadership so a leadership can be success or failure okay in an organization it depends upon the quality or traits or behavior of leadership okay how the leader behaves what were the qualities in leadership okay so what are the qualities that were present in the leader all these will lead to the effective leadership the success or failure of organization depends greatly on the traits of leaders okay basically we will see qualities of uh, or traits of leaders in two ways one is innate qualities or traits and the other one is acquired qualities or traits okay so innate qualities are those qualities that are possessed by various individuals since their birth okay they are inherited in them uh, and these qualities are natural and often known as god gifted qualities okay and these qualities cannot be acquired by the individuals why because they are qualities that were come from they acquired from uh, or else they possessed from their birth okay so uh, these are the innate qualities under innate qualities we can see two types one is physical features okay so and the other one is the hereditary what does physical features means so the qualities the leader qualities may be depending upon the physical features okay physical features okay like physical features are nothing but the height weight color complexion okay so all these may be uh, may lead to the uh, leadership okay uh, to attract the uh, group of people group of members physical features also help okay uh, a leader should have a good health and physical fitness so uh, in order to perform uh, different works in the organization a tremendous stamina should be needed for a leader and a mental vigor or good mental abilities should be there in order to set, sustain uh, a long period in the organization or irregular hours in the organization why because the timings in the organization may not be uh, two hours or three hours or six hours okay irregular hours they have to work uh, whenever the people wanted whenever the people needed he, he sh his presence should be there therefore irregularity of hours will be there therefore he should have a good physical fitness and tremendous stamina and intelligence another one, another one is intelligence or uh, hereditary things okay so intelligence is nothing but uh, for leadership a higher level of intelligence is required so intelligence is generally expressed in terms of mental ability because it is directly related to the brain okay the composition of brain is intelligence to a very large extent it is a natural quality in the individuals so therefore it is a natural quality or a factor or a trait therefore intelligence is nothing but application of our mental ability okay so here leadership sh should possess okay intelligence mental uh, ability why because in order to solve different problems which are raised in the organizations in order to take decisions depending upon different situations okay so a leader should have intelligence greater level of intelligence next coming to acquired qualities so what are acquired qualities these acquired qualities uh, occur or increase through various processes various processes is nothing but uh, qualities can be acquired through experiences through, through knowledge uh, through training okay 
so all these can be considered as acquired qualities so under this okay under acquired qualities what can be known as acquired qualities means emotional stability is considered as acquired quality human relations empathy objectivity motivational skills communication skills technical skills conceptual skills okay all these can be considered as acquired qualities okay they are not inherited qualities they are not by birth they are acquired from the external environment through our different experiences knowledge training okay so etc so major qualities regarding the acquirable qualities are emotional stability okay a person should have the leader's first best quality is emotional stability he should have high level of emotional stability he should control his emotions and feelings why should he control his emotions and feeling means in work environment he should not show partiality to any of the member of the group according to their performance only he should see he should be unbiased he should be free from bias okay he should not show any favoritism to the employees or subordinates who are working under him so he should have a control on emotions and feelings okay he should not feel that he is my friend so so i should uh, do favor to him regarding any uh, Uh, regarding any incentives giving uh, given by the organizations going to be given by the organizations like that so emotional stability that is the main quality and coming to human relations so a successful leader should have adequate knowledge of human relations maintaining good interpersonal relations maintaining good communications with the uh, hr okay so human relations should be there for a leader he should know how to uh, communicate with others who how to uh, maintain good relationships with others interpersonal relationships he should be free and fair with every person okay why because in order to gain work from them okay in order to use their knowledge in the work okay he should maintain good relationship by maintaining good relationship he should try to get work from the subordinates okay full efforts should be used and coming to another one empathy empathy means it relates to observing things or situations from another's point of view this is nothing but we should respect okay others feelings others rights others values others feelings okay we should know how they feel we should be in their place and think about the problem or Uh, the situation that they are feeling okay so empathy is nothing but we should respect their feelings we should respect their emotions we should respect their values and beliefs okay so according to that the leader should act in the organization okay and then objectivity so objectivity is nothing but depending upon the facts and figures depending upon the information that is having okay the leader will takes decisions in the organization okay so objectivity is nothing but leader takes decisions okay regarding or based on the facts and figures based on the data based on the information he will assess okay he will assess the persons he will assess the situations he will assess the uh, productivity everything in the organization okay coming to motivating skills so what are motivating skills under acquirable qualities so motivating skills are nothing but uh, motivate the other people he should uh, bring the urge in the people to work to mo- to work more okay he should motivate them in such a way that the employees should keep their full efforts in the organization to work okay so the there is an inner drive or urge in people for motivation to work so that should be bring out that should be motivated by the leader okay towards employees okay
coming to technical skills so what are technical skills the ability to plan organize delegate analyze make decisions seek advice and win cooperation requires the use of important abilities which constitute technical competence of leadership okay so the com the technical competence if at all the leader has a technical competence means definitely the followers also support him because technical aspects are specific work specialization in some work technicalities means for example accountant is there okay so accountant needs some accountant techniques he has to have a knowledge regarding the accounts okay so it is a specific task it is no it is considered as a technical competence therefore a leader should know all the aspects okay not only to do the work but also some technical tasks will be there so each and every work should be known by this leader why because in tough times okay he should be able to support those persons those subordinates so in order to uh, do uh, work smoothly he should also know the technical skills then only followers also support him next communication skills so communication skills means communication should be made okay effectively we all know effective communication is nothing but communicating to other person without any distortion without any distortion means misleading the information or uh, cutting down the information okay so full information which is sent by the top level management it should be properly conveyed to the subordinates okay so he should explain them he should explain the policies and procedures he should explain the circulars properly information should be given to all the people all the departments all the levels of people who he is guiding okay therefore communication skills are nothing but he should properly effectively communicate to all the people okay and he should clearly explain about the circular he should clearly explain about the policies and procedures okay without any ambiguity next social skills social skills are nothing but he should have a good communication with the people okay or the subordinates or the group of people in the uh, group okay the members in the group he should know he should understand the capacities capabilities of the people capabilities of the members in the group at the same time he should know the strengths and weaknesses that is known as social skill the strengths and weaknesses of each and every person should be known by the leader then only he can fully utilize the strengths of the subordinates for organization's growth okay or else if there is a weakness in the organ in the subordinates okay so those weaknesses should be sorted out by the leader okay he should uh, help him he should promote him towards the strength he should change that weakness to strength okay by giving a strong support to that particular subordinate okay so he should know about the strengths and weaknesses of the members of the organization okay so these are about the functions and till now we have learned about the features the functions and the importance of leadership okay